Good morning, everyone. Rick and Deb here. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Tulsa Zoo this morning. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day. Not a car, not a cloud in the sky, about 70 some odd degrees. So, if you're not doing anything this morning, come along and join us, walk around the zoo for a little bit. Okay, like I said, we're just entered the zoo. So, let's just kind of walk around here a little bit and see so what we can find. Last time we were here, I think the dinosaur exhibit was going on. Wife's going to get a map. We've been here several times. Um, to tell you the truth, I really don't know which way we could go. I guess we could go this way to start off with. I don't think it makes a whole heck of a lot of difference. Um, it is Wednesday morning. It is the 12th of April. And we just got past the uh, admissions. We might take the train after a while. I don't know as of yet. It could not be a more perfect day to be here. It is just beautiful. Uh, I don't know if we can go in there or not. We might try it. The chim chimpanzee uh, connection, it says. But let's see if we can go in here. It's, it might be very, very crowded, but we'll try it. It is, like I said earlier, it is extremely, today, might as well be a Saturday, that's how busy it is today. Okay, let's try it over here for a little bit. I got that one's hiding. This way they would play, of course, outdoors, but I don't believe they've got this all taped off, so probably not all out there today.
just waiting for that one. He wants that one to move. That one must be now. Gave her talk to him. That's a girl. Is that old? Is it Susie? The one we were born in 71. See, this is all new. We're making newer additions. Seems like all the zoos we go to, Sedgwick County Zoo, the Oklahoma City Zoo, and the Tulsa Zoo they are making uh, improvements, which that's okay. Okay, we're going to attempt to go through some of these buildings. Last time we were here, they were all closed. And it's probably only been a year, maybe. I can't remember, but I do see people and they're walking around, so let's see if we can go in here walk and look around a little bit. Now this is called Wildlife Trek. So let's see if that's open here in a little bit. Okay, well let's make our way around here and see what we can see here. Uh, this says grizzly bear. Now I don't know. Uh, I do not see any grizzly bears out here. Let's just go ahead and go on and see if we can actually get in. The train station's right over there. Let's see if we can walk up here and see if we can do this time. Now this looks like it's all not operational at this moment. I really don't know. Let's walk right here and see what we can do. A little bit of grease today, but it's not bad. Okay, it says these buildings close at 4 p.m. So maybe we can go in this time. I think we're coming in from the back side. Oh, maybe not though. I can't really remember. Yeah, I think we are. So let's just kind of walk around here. Everything really turned green. I mean, really quick, it seemed like. Woke up one morning and everything was green. Now, this first one is called Life in the Cold. So, let's see if we can go in. Well, I'll be, we can go in. Okay. Got a banner here that says Tundra, hail, ice, freeze, blizzard, life in the cold. Okay, this is one of several buildings that you can go through. They got an Arctic blast machine over there, but we can't get to it right now. No, I don't see a thing on that one either. I'm sorry for the noise. There's not, there were, when we pulled in, there were nine, nine 
school buses. Oh, no wonder. It's out of order. Okay. All right. Well, that's, oh, not for long. <laughs> he says, not for long. Okay. They got the collectible pennies here as well. 51 cents for your collectible penny. And they've got seahorse. And they've got a Tulsa Zoo snowy owl. A grizzly bear. And a tortoise. If you collect uh, these pennies. Is there something in here? It's in there hibernating. Oh, there is a crater in there. It's, we'll come back. We might go on that Arctic blast in a minute. Well, this is sure not the way I remember it from a few years ago. It's open, but I mean, there's nothing in not. Now, see here, it's supposed to be extremely cold. You can see the frost. That's supposed to be frost on the windows. Um, I think the wife sees something, but I don't know what she's taking a picture of. Snow out. Snow out. Oh, okay. You got to be smarter than the. Here, let's look up here, and I'll try to. There it is. There is a snow owl. Okay. It seems like to me last time we were in here, there was a lot more stuff in here. This is a deal here the kids can crawl through. Um, now let's go over here. Here is a long tailed tinchilla. And they're kind of small. Let me see if I can zoom here a little bit. Okay, there they are. I learned how to work this zoom. I don't have to keep pushing the button for it to, I just push as far as I want and then I push it to go back to normal. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. This is life in the cold. No, no, no. Give it Here are some animals that will live in the cold. Okay. Are you ready to go too far so we can go have lunch? He says, look in the, the burrow, but I don't see anything to look in. Maybe it was there at one time and it's gone now. I don't know. I do believe there's supposed to be a grizzly bear over here. Um, but it's off, off exhibit for some reason. Oh, it, it might be out there somewhere, but I've not seen it yet. Okay, well, there's life in the cold. Let's go to the Oh, that's all right. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's walk over here and see what we can find. Is there a grizzly bear over here? And I do not see, I do not see a grizzly bear over here. Okay, well, hmm, okay. Well, let's walk on. There's like, what, four of these buildings? I think, I don't know, I really can't remember. We're gonna walk on around and see if we can go through the others. Okay. Okay, I think these all connect up is what the deal is. You just walk down this path and they all different themed buildings, they all connect. Well, I tell you what, it is absolutely I mean, look at all the green. Green, green, green. There's a bridge. We'll probably cross it here minute. There's that old, the old train whistle again. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, that's still life and cold. Okay, well, let's walk on around. Let's go to the next building.
Now this is all brand new. Looks, this all looks really new to me. This walkway with the fencing and all that. Maybe that's why it was closed last time we were here because they were laying all this concrete and they were building all this railing. That looks like that might be the older railing down there, but I'm not sure. Okay, this next exhibit is called Life in the Desert. Well, let's go check out Life in the Desert. I think this is kind of cool because, like I said, we were not able to go in these last time we were here. And I don't remember why. Okay. And here's Life in the Desert. We've got monsoon, semi-arid areas, rain, shadow, desert, drought areas, and so forth and so on. Let's go over here and see. I think you can walk around that on the inside. Now I can tell the difference in here. This truly feels like a desert. And what have we got in here? Oh. You have to tell by the feet. What is it, a little turtle? Uh, I think that's a tortoise there. A tortoise. That's Pancake. a tiny one. Pancake tortoise. Pancake tortoise. Okay, let me zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you can barely see it. But there it is. Okay. Supposed to be a girdle tailed lizard in there too, isn't it? A girdle tailed lizard is supposed to be in there. But it's not there. But it's not there. It's we can't find it, so let's walk on around. Yeah, and I remember all this from a couple years ago. Oh, it's really humid in here. Oh my gosh. This kind of reminds me of the tropical exhibit in uh, the Wichita Zoo. It's like the tropics, and it's real muggy and real warm in there. That's what this reminds me of. There's some cacti, or cactus, rather. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, we have got Arizona black rattlesnake. Oh, I see it. Looky there. There it is. It's kind of huddled up back in there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there it is, back in there. Okay, and there is a lizard in here. If I can find it, there it is. There it is. Well, hold, oh, there's two of them. It's really nice on, the, on, the, on these exhibits. Okay, now that is a common chuck walla. A common chuck walla. And there's two of them. And here is a Hosmer's skink. Kind of a, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's right there. That is a, or it's a king's uh, a skink. It's one of the two. I'm not sure which one, which one that one is. But anyway, it's right there. See the other one, but there's supposed to be two of them in there. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, Mexican beaded lizard. There it is. If I can get in here where you can see it, that glare is not really good. Um, there it is. There's just so much glare. Yeah. 
You can see me more than you can the, the uh, lizard. At any rate, that glare is really bad. Okay, well, let's venture forth. There's supposed to be birds in here, and there might be. I've just not seen them yet. Oh yeah, there's some birds, but they're way on the other side. Naked mole rats is what these are. Okay. I'll have to do a lot of uh, pausing and stuff because it's so crowded and there's so many people. It's just crazy. You can't do anything hardly. But I'm trying. I don't see nothing in any one of these. Um, this zoo does reciprocate with other zoos, so we got in for like half price because we're members of the Oklahoma City Zoo. So, um, anyway. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of homeschooling that goes on. Well, and I don't really, um, in this day and age, with schools being the way they are, maybe that's why they do homeschool more often. You don't have their own, do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. This is Life in the Forest. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a little area over here. Are the raccoons over here? Let's go see. Well, no. I don't see any raccoons. This is life of the forest, and there's don't look like there's a whole lot in here at all. So let's go over here and look around here a little bit. This has really been kind of disappointing. There's no hardly no animals in here, and I don't know why. The brown tortoise in there. Oh, okay. There's a brown tortoise. We kind of zoom in here a little bit. There we go. That's brown tortoise. Okay. Oh boy, it's real dark in here. I may not be able to do this. It's too dark. Um, okay, we're going to turn around. That's too dark. Okay. 
Right, let's keep going here. Okay, that gentleman was just telling us that another school district is on spring break. See, we were just here in Oklahoma several weeks ago and they said they were on spring break, but that was in Oklahoma City. Oh, this is Tulsa area. So, you know, they just spread it all out over the course of uh, weeks or months, I guess. Um, I thought the spring break was over with, but that was in Oklahoma City. Apparently it's still going on here in Tulsa area. Yeah, we need to be given a warning sign or something. But yeah, I figured, I thought with nine school buses out there and that parking lot is just packed. So maybe the parents take off for spring break. I don't know. I don't know. Wait a minute, life in the desert. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute, are we all turned around? <laughs> maybe we went through all of them. Okay, we don't know what we're doing. Okay, we made it through the cave. <laughs> now these are Tommy Frogmouth. Let me go over and see if I can get zoom in on these. Tommy Frogmouth. Okay, there they are. And there's two of them. Okay. Here. Where are the raccoons? If you can't find the raccoons, look for them in their outdoor exhibit just through the cave. Okay, was well, there anything in here, honey? Oh. Yeah, it's way back in there, but you really can't. This looked like a ball of fur. <laughs> okay. Oh, a squirrel. Looks like. Much because there's so many people here, but we'll try. Okay. Oh, bald eagle. There it is. Let's walk on down and get a closer look. Yeah, I forgot the ball eagles were out here too. So let's go take a closer look. Well, that's a big one. Let's see if we can get a, a better look here. You know, the females are larger than the males pretty good size eagle. That might be a female. I'll just kind of watch it for just a minute. Oh, there's two more over there we missed. Let's go take a look at those. I didn't even see them. There's two more over here. Yeah, there they are. We're going to zoom out some more. Okay, that's all the way out. Yeah, that's cool. I always enjoyed eagles. It. 
double active day. I was hoping to move around some more. Oh, there it goes, maybe. And maybe not. Oh, there's another one way over there by the fence. We'll take a look at it when we walk, when we walk over there. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and go on. Okay, we'll take a look at it when we walk around. Oh, there's another exhibit. It's called Life in the Water. So let's go take a look at that. Oh, look over here. We got some alligators. Now are those alligators or crocodiles? They got the the rounded nose. I was gonna mix up the rounded nose. I think those are alligators. Those are alligators. The pointed nose ones are crocodiles. They got two of those two alligators down there. They're big too. My goodness, it sure feels good out here. And that breeze feels pretty good. Okay. Well. Okay. This really is a very nice zoo. Um, it really is a. It, Gator food. Yeah, really. Um, it is a very, very nice zoo. And uh, right adjacent to the zoo, there's Mohawk Park. Oh, American Alligator. Well, I guess we should have read the sign. Yep, those are alligators. The rounded nose ones are alligators. I have to remember that. But anyway. Well, here we go. Let's go life in the water. Life in the water. Oh, let's go look on. Oh my goodness, look at that. I think that's a swan. Look how large that thing is. It's huge. Pygmy goose, double striped thick knee, and spur winged lap wing. Okay. Now, what's over here? Over here is the Asian giant toad. Where is the Asian, <laughs> Asian. Asian giant toad at? I don't know. I'm not seeing it.
Okay. Well, I don't think it's in there. I can't see it anymore. Of course, we've got more updates coming. Did you find it? I guess I didn't look good enough. Where's it at? Oh, yeah, I was looking right at it. Well, it said giant. I was looking for stuff. a little bit larger one than that. Well, it may not come out because of the glare. Yeah. All right. Now let's go on. Let's see what's in here. Cattle, a grant, and I think that's the white one. And then the that's the cattle, a grant, is the white one. And then the orange ones are scarlet ibis. Scarlet ibis. Let's walk on around and see what these other I think these two over here, no. These are southern screamers. Those right there. Those are southern screamers. Oh, Ring Bill Go. The Ring Bill Go is right there. So we've got one, two, three, four different kinds of birds in here. down here. Hmm. Well, there's supposed to be a beggar's hot shard. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Let's see. Bear's Pop Shard. Blue Wing Teal. I don't know. Huh. Let's go down here in this end. The Freckle Duck. Uh, where'd it go? That might be the freckle, freckle duck down there.
Okay, this is the spotted turtle. Pretty little. Pretty little. Okay, well, we made it through life in the water. Now we're right back where we started. So, let's keep going. Let's venture, venture forth. So what was that? Life in the water, life in the desert? Um, I don't know, there was life in the cold, that's right. There was a tropics or the desert, yeah. Anyway, and they were all open, I'm impressed. There weren't very many animals in there, but they were open. Okay, well, let's go on. Well, it feels good out here. I'm telling you what, those buildings are hot in there. Even the life in the cold was, that building was hot. Well, it was really, it was really warm. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to go back the other way now we'll get it we'll get over that way here in a minute let's walk our way over here for a little bit I think it's better outside actually here's these I'm not sure what these are roots there's a bunch of them they're kind of in the shade let's go over here and look at their little pond or what do you want to call it it's pretty good size though Some ducks out there ducks geese Oh, there's that other eagle. Oh, wow. Look, you have to check this out. We're talking about up close and personal. Looky there. You see that through the mesh. I haven't been that close to one in a long time. There it is. And there's these two up here. Just kind of zoom all the way. There you go. There's some, there's some turtles down there. Oh, boy, that sun. There's some turtles.
Okay, now we're at the children's zoo area. We probably won't go in there today. Oh, there's a rainforest. We'll go through that here a little bit. Okay. Well, let's see if we get the rainforest. That might be kind of fun. If we can find it. I was pointing this to the right. So I guess we go that way. Okay, rainforest. Oh, this way it says. Okay. Okay, I think we're about ready to get to the rainforest. This rainforest is really cool. They got the, everything looks like it's from like Asia or something and it's really pretty cool. At least something smells good down in this area. My goodness. Oh, they got a little concession stand over here. Of course it's not open. Okay, here we go. Rainforest. <clears throat> Fifth anniversary. How cool is that? We are about to enter the deep rainforest. The mysterious rainforest. With ancient statues and symbols hidden for millennia. Sounds all overgrown. Explorers had to hatch their way through the dense and dark forest to find it. Very humid rainforest. Oh, here you go. Look at the big leaves. I guess I'm going to put it. Oh, look here. Is that an ancient wall? Uh oh, here you go. You got to get past these. You gotta get past these. If you don't quickly enough, 
you'll set up a trigger and you'll be smashed now what's in here giant or oh, green anaconda a green anaconda do you see a green anaconda I don't see a green anaconda. Are you at a green anaconda? It's hiding. Oh, there you go. Looky there. There it is. There's a giant anaconda. Oh, wait a minute. Green anaconda, sorry. Green anaconda. What's this? Don't touch that. Oh, don't touch that. The walls will crumble and will be buried instantly. This ancient forest. Here is a smooth fronted dwarf caiman. That's a mouthful. Kind of looks like an alligator, don't it? But it's not. It's over here. Uh oh. Red bellied piranhas. Um, despite its reputation, this small fish is a timid scavenger. Uh, and finds food by scent or motion. Fulfilling the role of the vulture, schools of piranha keep the river clean by consuming dead or injured animals, insects, snails, scraps, and even plants. Their razor-sharp teeth can strip flesh from a large animal in minutes, but they themselves are commonly eaten by local people who use the fish's jaws as scissors. Well, that's interesting. You see, they clearly have the red belly. These are the ones you don't want to tangle with. The other kind of piranha, I don't think they're the flesh eaters. But these definitely are the red-bellied piranha. They'll definitely ruin your day. Let's go here so we have a, oh, we have, what we got over here? Well, it says silver dollar fish, but there's a, a turtle up there. So I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Philippine cellfin lizard, or the Malaysian giant turtle. Well, okay. Um, I am not seeing anything such as that. Okay, it's probably hiding somewhere. Got a refreshing looking waterfall here. And the dance deep. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ooh, doggies. This is a red tailed catfish. Oh, it's coming to say hi. See, there's a red tail. That is one huge catfish now. Merciful heavens, that's, that's a big one. Oh, hello there. Oh, there's some tor big tortoises over there swimming around. That's a pretty good sized fish. There's a red paku, and there is a tiger shovel nose catfish. Okay, there's the red-tailed catfish right there. My goodness, and then there's the, that must be the um, 
Red Paku. Right there. Oh, wait a minute. I see it right back in there. That must be the tiger shovel nose catfish. Well, hello there. Wow. Very large fish. Let's see what we got over here. What's over here? Chinese alligator. Do we have a Chinese alligator? I did not see a Chinese alligator. Abandoned archer fish. And then there's supposed to be a Malaysian giant turtle. And then Bozeman's rainbow fish. So there's a rainbow fish. There's the banded archer fish. Yeah, there they all are, except for the giant turtle. Have not found it yet. But there they are. Those are really pretty fish, too, the rainbow uh, fish. Okay. Look at the bottom part of that. Like a tree trunk, maybe that thing is huge. Look at that. Now we're deep within the corridor of the rainforest. make a wrong move we will be engulfed and never to be seen again. You know what's over here? Rip saw catfish. Okay. Well I don't know. I do not see one right offhand. They're a nice waterfall, though. I like waterfalls. Well, so far we've seen piranha, dangerous red belly piranhas. Oh, there it is. It's hanging up on that vine. See it? What's that supposed to be? There's no, there's no name on it. So it's, it's going to be nameless. Some sort of a snake, I would assume. Look how big around these roots this root system is. It's crazy. Big, huge roots. And they go way up there. My goodness. Huh? Oh, I know. Oh, we have miraculously found the exit we've been spared from doom and the lost and dangerous rainforest there's bats in there but you probably can't see them well, you can a little bit you kind of see them flapping around a little bit there are bats in there flying around that's the dangerous part you gotta get past and we've been left the message who can decipher the message before we exit the rainforest? Okay. Okay, where is the Hawka at? Or the black? Howler monkey. I'm not seeing them today. Oh, here's some other kind of plants. All kinds of vegetation. Look at these 
ancient wall. Carved, hand hewn out of rock. Deserted millennia ago. The wife found the pucka. It's taking a nap. She sure did. I didn't see it all curled up over there. Well, that is the pucka. So interesting. Making our way out. We are running water. That's a good thing. Birds, bees, and flowers. I wouldn't mind the birds and the flowers. I'm not real fond of bees, by any means. Winding maze. Big huge table. Wow. Oh, we have what's these holes for? Don't stick your finger in there. The whole wall could collapse. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, a little canopy overhead. Huh. Oh. what we found. Huh, isn't that neat? Here's a closer look. Say something. Say something. Can you say something to us? Not saying nothing as of right now. There's supposed to be an Indian python in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Way back in here, but I don't think I can pick it up because of the glare. Well, maybe it's kind of sort of now. Uh -uh, I can't get it. Too much glare. Too much glare. Oh, here we go. More mysterious carvings. What does it mean? 
Are there warnings? Uh oh, here you go. We got more carvings. These two, what are they saying to each other? That one looks mad and the other one looks puzzled. So one is mad and one is puzzled. What do you think they're saying? He's got a pot in his hand. That's some kind of hood ornament. Who knows? Who knows? You know what mystery lurks? Oh, what are these two critters? Hmm. Okay. Uh oh, here it looks like we've got what were these used for to set on maybe? And here's a table with another sculpture. Looks like the eyes, look at the eyes, look like big stones. Is that a cat, black critter? No, oh, it looks like they're having a ceremony. They're, are, they, are, they, are they going to start dancing? What are they celebrating? And then we've got more down here, look at this. More symbols. All of these people knew what all this meant. Maybe they're just glad they got out of the rainforest in one piece. I suppose, maybe. Maybe, maybe. They're saying thank you. You made it out of one piece. Oh, that was a weird noise. Oh, that was those, one of those birds aren't there was making that, that noise. They're telling us we need to leave. We're in oh, the Jaguar is supposed to be in here, but there again, I see no Jaguar right off hand. Unless it's around the other side, I don't know. Yellow spotted river. Well, there's one right there. I don't know if it's yellow spotted or not. There it is, right there. Another piece of structure over there, hidden, hidden away. What are those called again, those orange fish? Wichita's got some, the zoo's got some, but I cannot remember the name of him. Huh? Koi fish. Those are koi fish.
Go ahead. Feels good out here. Huh? I was working on sweat and they're temporarily off exhibit. Because the animals will be back soon. Okay. Uh -huh. We made it through the tropical forest, rainforest. That's interesting. I bet there was water coming out of that at one time. Okay, so you can go play on that one. Yeah! All right. Well, I love you. Go see the African lions and the sea lion cove, then we'll come back and we'll go off uh, that way. Let's go check them out here just real quick. They're Macaw Landing Grill. It looks like it actually might be open. There's a mercats up here. Let's see if we got any. Can see any mercats? Oh, wait a minute. Here they are. 
Let's go see if we can see him from the other. Is there another window that we can? Let's go around this way. So we can see him from over here. Oh yeah, here they are. Maybe. Oh no, they're not either. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure what they're at. Maybe they're background over here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well. Maybe they are over here. I mean, I know they are, but I was looking for a better vantage point. Or we could see them better. I guess we can't. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of them. Look at there. These are uh, Southern Ground Hornbill. My goodness. grassy area. Interesting looking bird. See any out there? No. I don't either. It's supposed to be the it's African painted dog, but I don't see any African painted dogs out there. Unless they're hiding somewhere, taking a nap. Okay, all right. Well, I don't see anything out there. Well, they got a lot of construction going on too. Be over this way. Noisy over there. Noisy.
Hmm. He says, stop. Do not cross barriers. How in the world are you supposed to cross? Let's see if we get ready to build down here and then we're gonna hear the dog, so we're just gonna think there's any down here right now. See, this is going to be Elephant Preserve. It says coming 2023. Okay, well, Nab Holtz. I'm not sure what that means, but that's what they're building. Tulsa Zoo Elephant Preserve. And that's what it's going to look like. Expanded outdoor space, state of the art facility. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like when it gets done. Okay. Let's go on down this way. Let's see if we look at the big. Giant tortoises. And there was a train, we'll talk about it maybe in a little bit. in the shade now. Here comes one now. I think there's three of them out here. There's one over there, but it's in the shade, and then there's one. Let me back this out again. And there's one right there. Huh, isn't that neat? Oh, it's moving now.
there's four. There's one over there. And there's one over there. And there's four of these giant tortoises. Hmm. I think I'd be tired too if I got that big shell around. This one says I've had it, I'm done. I need a break. I think those are heavy though, those shells. I bet they are really heavy. Let's go back around this way. Okay, we are entering the Lost Kingdom. Look over here, if I can close up. I don't know if we can get up in there or not. It's supposed to be able to go around and walk around there a little bit. And here it is. is going to be Have the Odyssey Snow Leopard exhibit. And there it is. You may not be able to see it from here, but it's back in there. Again, that glare. It's back in this, back against the wall. That's a snow leopard, if you can see it.
exhibit for the snow record. Boy, something's making a loud noise. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's that tiger. Been mad about something. I don't know why they're. Maybe they're just hungry. Maybe just hungry. I really don't know why. Back on the on this side. We make it a better. This is the Hill Foundation Tiger Bridge. Let's see if we can get a, a better look. Oh, looky there. There it is. Wow. There's the other tiger. Hello there. I asked him if they had not fed him yet, and he said no. Really? That's what he said. Oh my gosh. That's why. He shook his head no. That's he why they're. No. That's why he's mad. Well, that's why they're hungry. He says I'm hungry. Wow, that's crazy. Huh. Oh, there he goes again, pacing back and forth. Wow. If I'm hungry. This is still the target exhibit. Oh, it's huge. Another can, another canteen. Well, that's where we just were. Life in the water, right over there.
yeah, these animals smell that food and then they're like, feed us. You'd think at five till two they would have been fed. Supposed to be in here. Oh, Komodo dragon. But I sure don't see it in here anywhere.
Well, let's go look at the elephants while we're over here. The Komodo dragon. Not real, of course. Lost Kingdom elephant. Let's go see if we're out. I hope there's some elephants around here.
think we're going to try to ride the train in, and we're going to call it a day. We've been here since 10.30, or no, about 11.30. We didn't see. There may be a few things we didn't see, but that's all. Yeah, matter of fact, I think the train was just right over here. When we get back, we're going to. Train ride to the zoo. Welcome aboard the Tulsa Zoo Railroad. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated, keeping your arms, legs, hands, and feet inside the train car.
Islands area, making up the rocky enclosure to the right, featuring African and Europeans. But not all Indians can be harsh and cold environments. As African Indians can have a larger summer trip of Africa, the temperatures can be quite seasonally warm. Also featured in oceans and islands are California sea lions. These benefits are native to the rocky Pacific Ocean coastlines in Western North America. And unlike seals, sea lions primarily use their throat flippers to propel themselves through the water and can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Thank you for riding the Tulsa Beach. comes to a full and complete stop. Thank you for riding with us and we hope you enjoy the ride of the...
along the wildlife field encounter throughout the wildlife trek is the Mexican beaded lizard and life in the desert. Did you know that beaded lizards are one of only two known venomous lizards? That ability is also playing a pivotal role in the desert ecology Okay guys, thank you for joining us today. Okay guys, thank you for joining us today at the Tulsa Zoo. We had a really, really fun day today. We got to ride the train, we got to go through the tropical rainforest, we saw some animals, some a, a few, but we did get to walk around and enjoy just being out today on this beautiful, gorgeous day today. Hope you all had fun. Hope you enjoy your day. As always, go out and explore your world. Have fun, but be safe. Like I always say, we'll see you on the next video. So bye for now.